So Gary, where are we today? We're at the Scoremore Groups Visitor Centre and we're here for a real special occasion. What yeah. are we here for, Joe? We're here for the NIC, EIC and Alexa Electrical Apprentice of the Year final. So what's been going on to get these uh, lads and ladies here today, guys? So we've got the final eight behind us. Yep. Well, we didn't start with eight. We started with over a thousand entries. Yep. And now we're down to that final pressured day to yep. find out who is going to be their yep. Apprentice of the Year. And they've got a lot going on in there. We had a little bit of a peek in there and there is some really serious jobs going on that require real skill and also, most importantly, real technical knowledge yep. as well. So I think it's about to rain. So I think we, we ought to get inside and have a look. Let's go. Let's Come do on. it. I can feel the pressure from here, Joe. It looks pretty intense in there, guys. Let's go and see what they're up to. So I'm here with Zach Swift. Zach, of course, well done on winning last year. So Thank well done for that. Thank How you. has the win impacted on you, sort of, during your career since last year? Oh, it's a massive push of confidence, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, you get given a lot more responsibility yeah, on site now. Yeah. So um, it's good, and you get a chance to kind of show your skills and show what you know yeah. as an apprentice to your tradesmen and whatnot. So it's a massive boost in confidence, mainly, though. That's really good. That's interesting you say that, because that can be a challenge as an apprentice, you know, when you're mm -hmm. sort of doing your training and getting to know new jobs. It can be a little bit daunting at times, yeah, can't yeah, it? So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I guess uh, knowing that, you know, <laughs> that year you were the best electrical apprentice in the country gives you a bit of bragging. Yeah, a bit of bragging on <laughs> <laughs> exactly, definitely. That's good. And it's nice to invite you back as well and be involved. I know, it's yeah. great. It's great to be involved again. I love it. It's, it's good to see other people you know, come and achieve it as well because every finalist has, has done an amazing job to get to this stage. It's yeah. not easy to get to this stage at Absolutely all. Absolutely not. I mean, we said earlier in the introduction that we're mm -hmm. down from like a thousand entrants yeah. to the finalists now, which is mm -hmm. absolutely amazing. How are they getting on? Are they, uh, are they doing yeah, well? They're doing, they're doing, they're doing yeah. very well. You know, yeah. no one's bombed it anyway. Oh, Everyone's right. done amazingly That's well, good I think. Know. That's good to know. Just whispering to you, Mike, who you think's going to win? Just quietly, while oh, no one's listening. I don't know if I can say that. Couldn't know, possibly say that. That's the right answer, is a professional. Well done. Really nice to meet you, Zach. Nice well done. Well done. Okay, let's catch up later. Yes. Well done. So I'm here with Cameron. Cameron, you're currently working on a flat 90 degree bend in yep. the trunk. In. What have you found the most trickiest up to this point? To be honest, this is pretty tricky as well. Because the stuff they give you, <laughs> it's not the um, easiest of um, drawings to follow. But everything's been difficult. But this is this is pretty difficult as well to get it bang on perfect. Okay, and it's got to be bang on perfect because every yeah. point counts as we move towards. Yeah, because there's eight, there's eight other people, seven other people. So if theirs is just a bit just a bit tighter, just a bit better, then we're obviously going to step forward, aren't we? So you said you were from Manchester, yep. but you're not here on your own today. So you brought down no, no, my college tutor's come down. He's just upstairs now, and my dad and my manager are coming down later on. So. For the, the ceremony at that, night. That's pressure in itself. Yeah, Dad's yeah, upstairs college. as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'd imagine he's chewed for a few fingernails on yeah, the Yeah, he has. Like, oh, So, Richard, nice to meet you. You're just in the middle of uh, completing your uh, yeah. consumer unit. How have you got on with it? Not, not too bad. I mean, it's the, it's the time pressure. Yeah. It's, it's not, I, I'd like it to be much neater than that, but yeah. you only get so much time, so we'll see. That don't look bad to me. If, that, if you think that can be improved, then that's pretty impressive. Good stuff. So, well done for getting to the Thank final. You. We've been saying to everybody that just to be at the final is such an achievement. Yeah. What's what like sort of... an imposter. No, no, honest. not at all. No, again, you know, out of a thousand entrants, yeah. over a thousand entrants to get down to the, the final eight, is a massive achievement, so really well done for that. It's absolutely Thank fantastic. You. What's what sort of motivated you to go down the electrical route? Um, I think it was a natural natural progression. Yeah. Um, really. I'm currently just just finishing my time in the Royal Marines. Oh, I've right. been okay. a, like yeah. an electrical technician. Okay. So we look after power distribution and, and, and things oh, like fantastic. that. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, I'm just coming to the end of my time, and it's right. a, a natural progression, really. Yep. Always enjoy how things work using my hands. And uh, Back definitely don't want to be life, yeah. sat behind a desk. <laughs> no, good. Well, it's, it's, yeah, it's nice to get a practical job on your belt, isn't oh, it? Yeah, and then you've, you know, you've got something to fall back on. So just to, and what jobs have we got left to do then, Richard? Where are we? Um, where I've are we got next? armoured cable. Oh, and yeah. Do you know what? I think that might be it. Fantastic. So one yeah. job to go. Yeah. And you can breathe a sigh of relief. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it, it, I'm out of breath. Yeah. It's standing, getting out of breath standing still. I'll be honest with you, I'm feeling a bit under pressure just being in the room. So you've done really well to do Some of these tasks. I've only ever done them once before, and that was my college assessment. So, um, you know, the, the time pressure is there. Yeah. It's not like in college, we can, you know, it might take you a couple of days. Yeah. I, I went to night school, so it was yeah. three hours yeah. a week of practical. Very um, challenging. So it might take you a couple of sessions to do a, a right angle of yeah. trunking. Yeah, yeah. But you've got. 45 minutes or an hour? Yeah, absolutely. So you've got to Focuses the mind, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, I won't disturb you any longer. All the best for the rest Thank of the competition. Good to see you. So, Darren, me and Joe have been around. We're looking at a very high standard. In yeah, your experience yeah. from previous competitions to this year, what's the standard like this year? Well, 
<laughs> the boys and girls that are here today are the most nervous we've ever had. In all the four years we've been doing it, these, these were the most nervous. It just sort of spread like wildfire through the apprentices. But after they got calmed down and they're starting to produce the work and reading the sheets really, really well, I've shown you a little sneaky peek of some of the stuff they're turning. It's brilliant. It really is good. You can tell that these are the apprentices just about to tip over into being the electricians. They, they've obviously been listening very well to whoever's teaching them either on site or back in the classroom because the work they're turning out You'd easily have it in your own house, without a doubt. It's brilliant. It is really, really good this year. And it, and it enforces that high standard of training, not just in colleges, but actually the training they must be receiving on site day to day oh, yeah. because they've replicated yeah. it here. Yeah, what, what we are seeing a lot of is um, not just minimum standards. No. There are those people that are going on to doing on and above the minimum. So when we're asking them to do tray or trunking and they're fabricating bends here, they're not just simply a cut and a bend, it's actually thinking about it, filing down, rounding edges off and making sure there's pride. There's a lot of, lot of pride that's gone into the stuff that they're turning out today, which is brilliant. So we can say we're turning out quality apprentices oh, yeah. to become world class yeah, electricians yeah. from oh, this process. You, you can see, I would gladly have any one of them in my company, knowing full well that you could give them a task to do and know that when they come back it's done, not just it's working, but it's done properly, and that's the big difference, isn't it? That's all we can ask. Cheers, Aaron. Thank you. It's good to see you here today, Billy. Well, oh, it's a, it's nice a, to see you. Do you know what? It's a privilege to be here. It's yeah. a privilege that Skarmore and the NICIC invite me here. Yeah. Um, my, my third year. Yeah. I've yeah. totally enjoyed it. And it shows you how much people enjoy it because, look, you've got the ex-winner yeah. last year. Yeah. You have a lad that at the door, yep. you know, helping out. It's brilliant, yeah. it's brilliant. We've had a chat with one or two of them, and it, it seems like it does actually have a real impact on the professional lives and the careers as well. It, you could almost say it's a life-changing event being here today, so it's really nice to see that. Well, when I look at it, and we never had Apprenticeship of the Year awards in my days and everything, but but what you got here, you, no one's a loser. Yeah, yeah. You've got eight guys, sorry, seven guys and a girl here, yeah. and it's lovely to see the girls come in. Yep. And uh, none of them are losers because they got to the final yeah. out of, a th I don't know, yeah. thousands, yeah. and there's eight of them. Yeah. You're all winners. Absolutely. It is a remarkable achievement just to be here. And again, it's nice that they've displayed that depth of technical knowledge to get here as well. So it's about more than the very important installation work. They've also proved that they understand what they're doing, and that's really important for them. Well, where that's good comes in fault finding. Yeah. When something's been wired and put in, then there's a fault using your tester and everything, the knowledge you've gained through the experience of working with other electricians and obviously college, that enhances their um, position of trying to find out where the fault is. Okay, and third is James Martin Lucroft. Yes, Okay, so um, a great pleasure, Cameron Molly. So the winner of this year's NIC Elex Prince of the Year competition is Richard Bradley. <laughs>